These guys are just chilling out today. <laughs> it's hot. Hey guys, this is Eric. How you guys doing? Hope everybody's doing all right and uh, having a good day. Look at what I got. Ooh, I got a whole bunch of food. I had to restock. Say hi, Snowflake. Hi, Snowflake. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna bite me. <laughs> she loves me. Hey, let's go outside and take a tour. Okay. Hey, Truffles. Hey guys, look at who's here. This is Truffles. He's one of the younger ones that are a little bit used to me. There he goes. Yeah. I'm, I was thinking his mom was close by, but I don't think that is. She still hangs around. Well, they all hang around here. <clears throat> I scared him when I sat down, but... There he is. Come on, baby. I'm gonna fill your thing back up, don't I? Yeah. Hi, dear. Do you need some more food in there? Huh? You need some more food in there? Yeah, little buddy. Mm, I'm not really for sure if it's a male or a female. Yeah. Hi, dear. Hi, dear. Gave him a little startle when I first sat down. Ah, look at that little nose. Look at guys, look at that little nose just going like crazy. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Where's your mama? So guys, there are actually two that are almost identical. And sometimes I have a hard time picking truffles out. He's just a little bit smaller. And he's got a very, very um, smooth coat looking. And uh, he's a lot more used to me than the other one. I sure love bunny rabbits. Mm. Mm. Eric and those rabbits got enough food. Mm. He got his bill and ran off. Mm. Maybe one of them chipmunks come. Nah. Mm. I can say hi to him, just like I would. That's what I do, I'd say hi. Hi, hi chipmunk. There's Isabel. Hi, Isabel. At the mama. Hi, sweetie. What you doing, Isabel? Hi there. Yeah. Your babies ran off, so you come over to get some food, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll get you up on the second floor someday. Yeah? You think you'd like to get on the second floor? Bounce up there and just feed? Who's that? Who is that, huh? Where'd you come from? Oh, I see. Isabel, come on. There's plenty enough food. There's some over there. There's a little up there. You got some brown eyeballs, don't you? Brown eye. Hey guys, I like this little bird feeder right here. Check it out. So I put it like diagonal here and uh, so it'd be even harder for the squirrels to climb up. <laughs> but they have tried and they get in there and look at, look at it, it's got a closed door. I'm sure some of you guys have probably seen this before, but I'm telling you, this works great and they are not able to get in there. And here is the squirrel house that my dad made, which is awesome. Thanks dad. And I need to make something so they can actually climb up there the way it is on the 4x4 here. Um, it's very hard for them to get around. They have gotten on top of it, actually. Um, I reckon those girls might like that house. Mm -hmm. 
let me guys know if any of you have like squirrel um, home houses like that or, that are out in the open I'm not for sure if they're going to like it especially right here to a big old feeding area maybe they might like it I was gonna just try here first if not I'm gonna put it in a close tree here um, the apple tree here uh, but I wanted to wait and see starting early fall I think around uh, late August or so in August they'll start having another litter so if they are interested I'm sure they'll try to make a house out of that um, but like I said, it's hard to tell. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but uh, I have it facing away from the sun. So guys, let me know if you guys have any experience with uh, squirrel houses um, that you built and had any luck with them um, actually taking ownership. And uh, um, if they're out in the wide open like this, I'm not for sure. I, I just feel like it might be too scary for them. I don't know. Um, but I do need to make it more accessible for them to get inside of there. A lot easier for them. Um, so... Uh, uh, shoot me some comments guys shoot me some comments let me know what's going on yeah shoot me some comments so i know how squirrel houses work <laughs> just look at them all getting along and they're just special <laughs> look at all them guys just enjoying themselves There's Isabella, just hanging out, trying to cool off. Yeah, aren't you? Yeah, you just hanging out and just trying to cool off over there, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Laying in the cool dirt. Bye. Hi, Truffles. Hi, dear baby. Hi, sweetie. Hi, baby. What you doing? Yeah. What you doing, little buddy? Thank you. I put a carrot down there for you. Yeah, I put a carrot down there for you, little buddy. Hi, dear. Yes. There he is. Hi, dear. I don't know if this is one of Truffles' little friends or brothers and sister or what. Huh? You want some water? Is that what you want? You want some water? Okay. Okay. Hi, sweetie. Hi, dear. Yeah. Here. You're almost as brave as Truffles is, aren't you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is it? So you got your spot? Huh? Does he have your spot? Yeah. Yes. Hey, baby. Hi, dear. Yeah. <laughs> what should we call you? Nosy? Should we call you Nosy? Huh? Well, guys, that's it for the evening. Thanks for watching, as always. Uh If anybody is interested in donating to a Backyard Files, um, you can donate on my YouTube page. Um, there's a little PayPal button there you can push, and uh, it goes straight to uh, Backyard Files um, donation set. And uh, it really does help out with all the feed and costs for, um, you know, building them things. Uh, it's just one little way that you can help support Backyard Files and uh, the little guys out there having some fun. Well, I think they're having some fun. <laughs> but anyway, as always, appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. And if you're new, please subscribe. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye.